but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. The sense is always bearing about in the body of the dying of our Lord Jesus. That the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. That the life of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. Today, our topic is about the profit of pressure. The dividends or the outcome of pressure if we see it positively. And before we go on with our topic, let us consider about the factors, about the challenges of life. Number one, Note that God is not ignorant about all that is happening today in our world. Every situation that we go through, God is aware. Number two, God knew of this before it ever surfaced. He knew of this before it appeared. So God is not short. Number three, God is not confused as what to do. God is not confused. He knows about what he was supposed to do. The world may be confused. The government may be confused. The nations may be confused. Individuals may be confused. But God is never confused. Number four, the purposes of God will always stand. Know that the purpose of God will always stand in every situation. Yeah, the purpose of God is not at the mercy of the agenda of the enemy. Whatever God must do, He will do it. And whatever you are hearing me from, I want to assure you whether there is COVID 19 or not. The purposes of God will be established. And number five, the victory shall be the outcome of God's people and for the kingdom of God. Victory shall always be the outcome for God's people. Now, if victory shall be the outcome of God's people, what must we do? Number one, we have to look unto the Lord. Look unto the Lord. Because He is the author and the finisher of your faith. He is the first and the last. The Alpha and Omega. Whatever you want to do, you do it. Number two, do all that you know that you are able to stand. That is by the application of the hand sanitizer. Do it. And as you do it, you are able to stand. Number three, you must also maximize the moment. Don't waste the time. It means that whatever you must do with your time, you must do it. There are people who are in their homes complaining. They don't want to do anything about their time. And at the end of the day, they try to blame COVID 19. You must maximize the moment. You see, time wasted cannot be retrieved. What is to 
understand the concept of pressure. Number two, to understand the product, what pressure is going to produce in our lives. Number three, to understand what we must do in the face of pressure. What we are supposed to do. Also, what we are supposed to do. In the midst of the pressure. Now, what is pressure? By definition, pressure is defined as continuous physical force and centered on something.
Number one, our healing is produced out of pressure. Our healing is produced out of pressure. When we are the book of Judges, chapter 14, verse 5 to 6. About Samson, the Bible says one day, Samson and the people. They were on their way to terminate. And a young lion rode against Samson. Man of God, and the spirit of God came upon Samson. The power of God came upon Samson. So anointing, the power of God is produced and released in terms of pressure.
The potential is in you. The vision is in you. The value that is ever in you will surely come forth. I declare upon your life that whatever God has placed upon you, any God given assignment, that God will carry you before you are born. It will surely come to pass. I said it will surely come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus. So, pressure brings forth birth. When we read the book of Isaiah chapter 6, it says, The Bible says, As Zion shall be, she brought forth. Who has ever seen this? As she shall be, she brought forth. Remember that the nation Israel was born out of pressure. Hear me? Something can be birthed out of you. New potentials can come forth by pressure. New issues can be birthed out of you. Never sit down and play anybody. Don't throw your hands between your knees. Do something with this time. And through the pressure you go through, something will come out of your life. I don't know what I'm communicating. David was a man who developed multiple abilities and deployed more potential. Pressure from his family house. Pressure from his own brethren. Pressure from Goliath. But he came out of the pressure. That was why they said, even the other one, I want to be a of the side of the You see, adversity reveals content far more than prosperity. You see, if you dip a phone in water until you excuse it, what is in the phone will never come out. But the moment you excuse the phone, the moment you press, the water will come out. Something can come out of you. I love all your son. I said something can come out of you. Let me move on. Let me move on. Okay. 
let me let me talk about this. Character is refined and also transformed by pressure. Character is reformed and refined by pressure. Luke chapter 15 to 17 to 19. Concerning the prodigal son, this guy went, he took the inheritance of the father. The Bible says he went far. Until the father arose and he began to be in war. Then two things happened. Notice, two things happened. His mentality got corrected. And his character also got adjusted. Oh, you didn't hear me. I said his mentality got corrected. And his character also got adjusted. So all we are going to do, if we can allow ourselves to go through the mess, God is going to adjust our character. I said our character will be corrected. And our mentality will also be corrected. It is my prayer that wherever you are, may God through this time where coronavirus is rolling here. May your character be transformed. May your character be transformed. Now, what do we do? In times of pressure is what I like. Number one, pressure times are prayer times. The man believes or your prayer was a bumper. Pressure times are prayer times. Time of pressure is time of prayer. A shamry and prayer was a bumper. When we read the book of Genesis chapter 32, verse 12 to 14. One day Jacob was about to face his brother Esau. That would be Jacob. When he was left alone, he prayed. So this is time to pray. This is time to pray. This is time to pray. Forget about the tension. Forget about the weight. Forget about the belly. Go on your knees and lift the voice in prayer. Oh, yeah. 
We must pray. This is not time for us to watch endless movies. We must pray. And in the book of Ephesians, chapter 6, the same thing. Bible says, pray always with all prayer and supplication. Pray in the Spirit. Pray always. So, pray sometimes and pray at times. Let me rush. Let me rush. Number two. Yeah. 
thank God for help. Thank God for the sustenance he has given you. Thank God that you are still alive. Thank God that because he's faithful God, he is the Alpha and Omega. And as you praise him, your life will not be the same. Present times are times of persistence. This is time for us to persevere. Persevere. Persist in the Lord. Present times are time to persist. Are time to refuse to give up. Because those who give up in life, they slow down in life. Ah, okay. If you are well down, you are slowed down. Any time you are well down, brother. You are depressed. And every time you are well down, you are discouraged. And discouragement is a thief. It steals your contention. It steals your vitality. It steals your zeal. If you are pressed down, if you are pressed, come on. Don't allow the pressure to weigh you down. Job chapter 14 is 14, my last scripture. Job said, if a man dies, shall he live again? All the days of my appointed time, I will wait till my change comes. I will wait. Tell yourself that I will wait. The bone does not come out of fire in the midway. It is supposed to go through the day so that the gold can come out of it. Stay in the process. This is not time for you to give up. This is not time for you to be out. This is not the time for you to give way. We have to persevere. And as you persevere, your life will not be the same. I want to declare upon your life whatever you want. But as you maximize the moment, may the blessing of the Lord, may the blessing of the Lord be upon your life. Wherever you are, lift your voice and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Lift your voice and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Kelly Moshete. Very name of Sibra Lalala.